and Russell Mail of a rock band Sparks have a knack for writing lyrics for make reference to the song itself. It's a kind of finely crafted running joke and they tell it again and again. Here are just a handful of examples. This is This is a rabbit hole that goes a lot deeper than you might imagine because it also includes songs that don't make any obvious reference to music. Take for example 2017's Hippopotamus from the album of the same name. It's about a guy who sat on his sun lounger marvelling at all the weird and wonderful things that emerge from his pool. There's a hippopotamus, a hippopotamus, a hippopotamus in my pool. How did it get there? How did it get there? There's the Hippopotamus, the man sees Titus Andronicus, a book by Anonymous, a 58 microbus, a woman with an abacus, and a painting by Hieronymus Bosch. And it sounds like it's just a really funny rhyming scheme, but there's more going on, because if you think of it as being a song about songwriting, then all of these things can come from Ron's pool of ideas, rather than a literal swimming pool. And a similar concept was explored by the band on 1981's Womp Fat Sucker with this song, Upstairs. As I hope you can see, this can represent Ron plucking ideas from upstairs in his brain and putting it into song. The same thing can be applied with a swimming pool, but in Hippopotamus it's even more impressive and that's thanks to the closing verse. In these few short lines they manage to sum up the entire song really efficiently and without reusing any of the previous rhymes. Take a listen. This is a kind of chicken and egg songwriting because what came first? Is it the long descriptive verses or the neat little summary at the end? It expresses the same set of ideas in two completely different ways and you can't change one without affecting the other. I see it as being about the songwriting process. At the start, Ron sees these big ideas and then he manages to distill it into a neat little song that he presents to the listener. And something similar is expressed in the song Strange Animal from 2009's Exotic Creatures of the Deep album. This is about a creature who makes its way into a song and starts changing it. And again, it makes more sense if you throw away the storybook style context of the lyrics and instead imagine it coming from Ron sat at his piano stool trying to think of ideas for the next Spark song. What is strange and are we are? What is strange and are we are? There are songs that to see you and Jen will not let you in. But he came upon a song just when we so went to him. To get out of the rage of skin was cold and was strong. With the strange and the small, so won't wait into the song. 
if you put to one side the storybook setting and the idea that the strange animal is an actual living creature, then this can instead be about the inception of a new spark song. It's about the compositional process. Imagine Ron sat at his piano and he's waiting for ideas to come to him. He's just playing whatever feels good. Every spark song has got a big concept behind it. Think, you know, there being a number one song playing up in heaven or earning the right to sing a song like My Way. This is about taking that concept and applying it to the music that he's playing. So the line again is, there are songs that are sealed that will not let you in, but he came across a song that was open to him. So the strange animal can represent one of these big ideas in a spark song and is entering whatever Ron is playing on the piano in that moment. And that is the birth of a new spark song. So there's something about the strange animal that's frightening and of course it's an underdeveloped song, it's a work in progress, but then right on cue, a bolt of lightning. And this works on two levels, you've got the storybook setting which lends it an air of horror, but also a bolt of lightning like inspiration striking, it's the equivalent of synapses firing or a light bulb appearing above somebody's head. If I may be quite frank, and I'm not bored and right, and I know I'm a guest, and I know you know best, but the song acts a heart, comes up over the spot, and the motion of for me, and what songs are for? There's something about it on the locking, oh, so bold a jail and you get hockey, but you need to be clear, and the yacht more sincere, wake me up with your friend. If this song really is documenting the process of writing a spark song, then it gives really great insight into what they value in their own music. It says, This song lacks a heart, comes off overly smart, an emotional core, ain't that what songs are for? So, these are attributes that are always present in Sparks music, even when they're singing about things as silly as, you know, lawnmowers. But the ones in the song who had been there so long Who impatient and seethed and they asked him to leave But he said not so fast, unaware of my past You allowed me inside, you can't push me aside When the song lets me in, I can see where it's been If it's broken in the charts, if it's been in the charts But the song shows the signs of a grander design Entertain this to chart and what you know from the start this verse takes us even further into the compositional process and things aren't looking good because the occupants of the song want the strange animal to leave. But if you consider the strange animal to be some uniquely Sparks concept that they're putting into the music, then that will always win the day. It's like that is what Ron and Russell value the most, is the meaning of the song, the message they're trying to give with the music. So not only does the strange animal refuse to leave, he takes apart the whole song. He says, when a song lets me in, I can see where it's been, if it's broken some hearts, if it's been in the charts, but this song shows no sign of a grander design. So that's the standard they're holding themselves to. Every song has to be a grand design or part of a bigger grand design, maybe. Then they say, entertainment or art, one should know from the start. And I find that fascinating because sparks are simultaneously entertainment and art. Almost everything they do is packaged in, you know, three or four minute pop songs, yet they have these really bold ideas in there that you just don't see in other artists. You're in the closing verse tells us that the songwriting process that we've been following doesn't end in a finished spark song. It's a song about 
something that they've rejected, something that didn't make the cut. To use the words of a strange animal, so I must kill you all, start again, have a ball. So sparks aren't precious about throwing away material and it sounds like they love going back to the drawing board and trying to make something bigger and better. The closing lines are, here's that chorus again, that can stay, here's the end. So the chorus is kept and the rest of it is thrown away. So what if that chorus that's kept is the chorus we're hearing on Strange Animal? That would make the rest of the lyrics that we hear on the finished product about an earlier draft of the song. And that's a really profound concept and there's something that backs it up because buried in the mix is another verse which is sat behind, almost as backing vocals, behind an earlier verse in the song. It's, it's almost, well, it is indecipherable. I can't work out what they're saying. But hopefully somebody out there can tell me what Russell is singing here. What we're listening out for is uh, in the falsetto, slightly panned to the left, Russell is singing to the melody of what a strange animal we are. So don't listen to what he's singing in the foreground, listen to the backing vocals. There are songs that the seal chip will not let you in, but he came upon a song just when we so into him. To get out of the rage, his skin was cold and was strong. Will the strange and his balls won't break into the song? So there we have it. The song Strange Animal appears to be about an earlier rejected draft of the song Strange Animal. And that just blows my mind. It's about as meta as you can get. Now, if anybody can make out these lyrics, if anybody understands what Russell is singing here, I would love to hear your theories. And there are further clues within the song itself, because the opening verse has these lyrics. It says... When a strange animal with a strange set of plans came to town last July, there was blood on his hands. So he's killed before, he's been into a different song. And it now comes to light, he had been in a fight with some government men who were high as a kite. So maybe that's the subject of the previous draft, government men who are high as a kite. And that brings this episode to a close, so thank you all for watching, and if you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel. I have a few other videos and lots more to come, uh, and if you could hit that like button as well, that would be fantastic. Um, any comments would be gratefully received as well, um, not just about Strange Animal, but any Spark song, because there are so many rich ideas here that are worth discussing. So. Uh, have a great day, everybody, and I'll catch you soon.